Well, I guess when I was in Vegas, a lot happened. I heard Joe Biden's running for senator. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Lay Update. And it is, of course, I guess Joe Biden decided to run for senator based on what I heard. But in the meantime, in all seriousness, uh, here we are. And uh, markets are sloppy and all over the place. Uh, at one time, the NASDAQ was up huge again this morning. Well, all the other indices were down. Now they're all down. And it just it's some wild trade. And that, that's all I can really say here. It's it's obviously part of the much bigger move that we expect. And, you know, these moves are not un, unexpected. They happen. They show up whenever. And the markets are fighting for direction right now. But, you know, again, the NASDAQ has broken out. So that that's for sure. That was on heavy volume yesterday, uh, you know, on a kind of a holiday trade. Today's action, you know, again, it's very sloppy all over the place. We could end up either anywhere today. I have no predictions. I can only say is that we are long across the board. Okay, so we were obviously at one time way short, now we're long, everything uh, uh, across the board for the last few days. We finally turned the NASDAQ over on Sunday night, and so here we are, uh, and we'll see what happens. Again, we don't predict. We're going to play the trends, and right now the trend is indicated that it wants to go higher. Well, we're going higher with it. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, the metals are getting thrashed, which is, of course, we're still short. And you know, all the haters out there who keep saying, how can you be short? Well, we're still short and it's getting cracked pretty good. I mean, I know gold's on about 30 bucks. So at the end of the day, we will change when the trend changes and not before. I'm not going to get my opinion involved in the markets because especially during day-to-day -day emotional swings with your own self, it's easier to look at it and just get with the mechanical method. It's that simple. All right. Uh, crude is a little bit higher or long. Uh, net gas a little bit lower, but we did reverse. We're now long. Okay. And we're obviously bought lower than it is here. So we're actually doing okay with it right now. Uh, copper, a little bit lower. We're long. Uh, the dollar, we are short. It's up a little bit. And, you know, it doesn't make sense. And of course, bonds are up pretty big again today. Uh, we are still short the bonds. And I just, I just tell you that, hey, you know, look, the end game is to follow the trends. You trade mechanical, you leave your emotions out, and then you have nothing to worry about. That's the real story. Okay. You cannot get yourself overly involved in these markets. Uh, and uh, of course, the grains, they've been pretty wild today. You know, if yesterday is pretty good of a beatdown. They've been fairly wild today. Uh, right now, beans are up, but they've had about, I don't know, about a 15 cent range. Corn's had a wide range and wheat. And they're on both sides right now. And I don't have a, you know, I can, I can tell you right at the moment where they are, but by the time you see this, they may have changed again. Uh, they still look great. There is no issue. There's nothing to discuss on whether or not the patterns have changed. They're still all bullish. And we're still looking just for spots to add and buy more. That's all. That's what it comes down to. Uh, cattle. Both fast and feeders were higher. Now they're flat to lower. Uh, and I think you're seeing there's a wild action there. Now we're still short feeders, long fats, or live cattle. And hogs are down under some pressure, but they're they're just, take a look at the range. They're just chopping around, you know, up to the top, down to the bottom, up to the top. So I don't let those things get in my mind or in my way. The pattern is the pattern. I will trade that pattern until that pattern changes. The softs, I honestly, I, I did not look at them today. I can only tell you that we're long cotton, long OJ now. We reverse that out. Long sugar, short cocoa, short coffee. Okay. That's our positions. I honestly don't look at them all the time because I don't trade them. And I'm not going to change. Nothing will change until tomorrow, at least. So there's no reason for me to watch them all day. And that's one of the things, I, the tricks you can learn is quit watching so damn much. Okay. Anyways. So as we talked to you about a lot, our, our partnership with Family Farms, really excited to do that. And we're scheduling out our trip to uh, to Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. And you know, if you've got an, an area that you can tell me, you know, I, I'm looking for probably I probably need you know one or two points. Well, two, probably two points in Nebraska and in, in Iowa, maybe Kansas, of where is the best areas where. I can talk to the most amount of people and help the most at one time, because what we're going to do is we're going to do a live seminar 
in, you know, a hotel there and, uh, you know, be an hour or two. And again, just to give you an idea of what we're trying to help you with and make sure you can get there because again, being hedged is by far, as many will tell you, it is the best way to be. And of course, our brokerage partners, uh, you know, there, there's none better than CTG for letter direction trading for our commodities and futures. Now, again, before I say anything else, full disclosure, I have other brokerage accounts. But when it comes to doing the trading for me I, that I allow, it's only CTG. Why? Because, again, they do a great job. They get great customer service. If I need them, they pick up the phone and they take care of my business. So what? why should? Why would I want to go anywhere else? And for equities and, bro- and, and options, how can I not want to be with Trader? At 10 bucks a month, I, I say to you, how could I not? Why, why do I want to spend more? I want to put the money in my pocket. I'm not trying to subsidize the brokers. They get enough money. Okay. So trade here for equities and options. You want information on either one? I got a special link. Just email me at bob at bubbatrain.com and I'll be happy to send it to you. And our commodity report, Andy Heck, him and I were together this weekend in Vegas. And, you know, we've got a lot of good plans for it. Now, right now, <clears throat> it's called Technomental. It's on the website. You can check it out. It's $100 a month, $800 a year, but it's going up because, of course, we're going to add some real dynamic features. And we will be doing a wedding, a wedding, a webinar on the first Saturday of November on the new ch- changes. So prices will be going up the first Monday of November, right before the election. OK, in the meantime, of course, if you buy now, you're in you're in locked in for the rest of your career, because, again, one thing I don't do is I never raise prices on once people become members and. Of course, our, our high school program at Patreon, we're trying to rebuild that. And I've got to reshoot the videos now. And that's at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. It's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And well, let's see what we got today. We got some baseball and we got some football. And we 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 sorry we didn't give our winner last night, but we did have the winner. Uh, we did get screwed, though, because we like both the money line and the plus points on San Diego. But or Los Angeles, sorry. But today, tonight we have Buffalo. Buffalo against Tennessee. Buffalo laying three. Uh, I think Buffalo is going to kick the crap out of them. We're taking Buffalo for a sizable wager. And the baseball games, I'd, I'd play with Houston and the Dodgers today. In the meantime, have a great training, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Daily's Bubba's Daily Update. And don't forget to vote for Joe Biden for senator. We'll see you later, everybody. Have a great day.